one of the cool tools in the shop that I use a lot is a watt meter. I have two different watt meters here. This one I've had for a little while, like it, but the only problem is it doesn't remember the highest amp draw in watts. So as I'm doing it, I got a camera on it. I try to take a picture, try to remember a little, eh, it, it works, but it, it's not my favorite. This one here from Toolkit RC, this will remember. It also has all kinds of cool other features. For example, uh, if I wanted to test a servo, I could plug a servo in. And with this, you'll see I'm testing a servo. And then it's not as nice as my servo tester because it's a little hard to get to that neutral point. But it works. What I really like it for is this. I can test a motor without using my without using my uh, transmitter. I can plug that in and let's see if we can get this to work. So it will boot up and run that motor. That's kind of neat. That's a neat feature. But really the most important feature that this thing brings to me is telling me how many amps I'm drawn on a different prop for let's say a plane. So I have an Arrows Bigfoot and I'm gonna test the stock prop and maybe a better quality APC prop. Stick around, I'll show you what I mean. In this case, got it plugged into the Bigfoot and we're gonna test the amps. Already done it once, but let's do it again. First thing you gotta do, hey, you got a live motor here and spinning prop, so be careful. Um, we're gonna pu push it up to half throttle, take a look. <laughs> So at half throttle, we're about 5.5 amps. The plane will fly at half throttle. Not great, but it'll fly there. So long flight times. I bump it up a little bit more. Let's say three quarter throttle. We're at 13 amps. Full throttle, 22 amps. So couple things you know one is it's going to tell you so it maxed out at 24.9 amps i believe it's a 25 amp esc and uh 303 watts this is where you might have an option to change out the prop maybe we can get a prop that's a little more efficient uh, a little more power and that's this helps it enables you to test different options for better performance or to make sure you're not exceeding the limitations of your motor and ESC. Critical tool in the shop. Just put on a, a 11.7 APC prop. Got rid of the stock prop and put on a different prop. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get a different power from, uh, from this thing. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's do it. Half throttle. Same amount of amps. Definitely more amps and more watts. So we got up to 28.7 on the amps and 346 watts. So let's try that again. and 346 all right so hey real quick if you like the content hit that like button helps me out helps me know i'm on the right direction as far as the content i'm making this watt meter is something that i use all the time as i'm reviewing planes i'm looking at planes i'm looking to maybe make a little bit more performance and sometimes the stock props are not ideal they're not as efficient as let's say a master air screw or an apc i use apcs a lot uh, they just seem to work better more efficient, and a lot less expensive. Anyway, so, hey, if you're interested in that particular watt meter, uh, I have a link in the description, and uh, it's with Get FPV. Now, I bought a lot of gear from those guys. Uh, they seem to be pretty up and up. So, anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching.